Hey everybody, welcome to the fermentation lab today. As you can kind of look and see all my supplies here, I have everything that I need, pretty much everything measured. We have water, sugar, apple juice. We have some uh, instant yeast uh, that's already measured out one gram portions. We have some the sugars measured out in 6.5 gram portions. We also have four flasks, one, two, three, and four as shown uh, by the lab, as well as our four balloons, which we will put on our flasks in just a little bit. So the first thing we're gonna do is fill our flasks today, and then we will let this sit for, I believe, one or two days and see what happens. So the first flask we're gonna um, fill is the 75 milliliters of warm water and 6.5 grams of sugar. So I have that measured already, 75 grams of warm water, put it into flask one. For safety's sake, I will use my funnel. Okay. Now, I will use my sugar. Check my weigh boat here, pour this in. And that is it for flask one. We're gonna to move to flask two. All right, so for flask two, uh, we will be filling flask two with 75 milliliters of water and one gram of yeast. So we'll go ahead and pour this water in here. This is our Fleischmann's Rapid Rise Instant Yeast one gram's worth. Should get the yeast out. All right, and that is it for flask two. Okay, so now for flask three, we'll take 75 milliliters of water. Use my funnel once again. It says add 6.5 grams of yeast, or sorry, of sugar. grams of sugar and then one gram of yeast okay. all right and that is it for flask three join the other two flasks over here okay and lastly for flask four we will be adding 75 milliliters of apple juice be topping that off with a gram of yeast. Okay. And those are gonna be our four flasks. So now what we're gonna do, we'll bring them back over here. We're gonna give them a little shake. And then we will cover them with balloons. So I'll just shake these up. Shake, 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 shake. Shake it off, shake it off. Cover them with our balloons. These have been pre stretched, pre blown up. Note to self do not knock over the flasks. All right, that's one. Four. And there you have it flasks one, two, three, and four. Now we're going to let them sit overnight. All right, so we let our flask sit overnight. Um, and so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna measure the circumference so we can find how much volume of gas was produced from each experiment. So to do that, you have a piece of string and a ruler for the measure in centimeters. Um, but as you can see for flasks one and flask two, there's no gas in these balloons at all. So there was no reaction. So for their circumference for one and two, I'm gonna put that it was zero centimeters. Since nothing was produced, the balloon is still the same size. But we can see in class three and four that we do have, especially in three, a lot of gas produced. So I'm gonna to try to find the widest part of the balloon. I mean, and this isn't perfect science, it's kind of really an estimate. But with this, I have 
about we'll say 24 and a half centimeters. So that flask had water, sugar, and yeast in it. And now we're gonna look at flask four, which used the apple juice and yeast. And definitely some gas was produced. A little less than flask three. And so when I try to measure my string, it's about 15 centimeters. So now what you're gonna do with these data points is up above this data table, there's gonna be some equations that are gonna help you solve for the diameter of the balloon. And then you're gonna solve for the volume of gas produced. And that's the end number that we're gonna to want to help us solve these analysis questions. Good luck. 